Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how to set up a Jazz Miner X16 QE to mine Ethereum Classic and Zill or Octospace and Zill at about 1650 mega hash at around 500 to 600 watts plus or minus 5%. So a very efficient ASIC miner for mining ETH hash or ETC hash coins. And so today I am going to show you how to set this thing up. Thank you to Crypto Crypto Miner Bros for sending this to me to showcase this to you all on how to set this up. It's actually very easy and so I'm going to go through that in this video with all of you especially setting it up on Wi-Fi. So one of the big benefits of one of these Jazz Miner miners here is that they are very quiet and also they can run on 120 volt power as well. Okay so you can in theory, put this anywhere around your house and you'll be able to heat a single room or just have a miner anywhere in your house because it also has Wi-Fi as well. So the only cable you'll need is basically power. But initially, to set it up, you will need to plug in the Ethernet adapter, but I will go through all of that with you guys. How to set it up to a mining pool, wallet, and all that kind of stuff, okay? So without further ado, let's begin, okay? So when you unpack the Jazzminer X16 QE here, it will also come with ears, okay? Rack mounting ears that you could rack mount this to a server rack if you wish to do that. This is a 3U heighted device, so yeah, it can go into a server rack, no problem. But otherwise, you don't need to screw these ears on if you want, but otherwise, it is an easy way to also handle the X16 QE. Okay, but anyways, next step in order to set this up, okay, so we're going to need to plug in an Ethernet cable just for the beginning part of it and once you get into the web GUI, the website of this thing basically, it's then that's how we can configure it and configure it to join your Wi-Fi network. Next, you will need to purchase a power cable. It will not come with a North American cable like this, so you'll probably have to purchase this on Amazon or go to infinitecables.com. They have these typical computer power cables. You might have one around your house, so you just need to simply plug it in into here. Okay, and then we're gonna plug the other side into the power outlet. Typical North American power outlet like so. Okay, that's it. Next step is we're going to hit the power button on this side here to on. So now it's going to turn on and we are now going to go into the computer and we're going to get the IP address of this machine and log into it so that we can set it up. So let's do that now. You guys can use a laptop or a computer, something that's on the same network as your wired network so that you can configure the Jazzminer X16 QE. Okay, so I will see you guys in the computer. Let's get this set up. Okay, I'm using a freeware software that you can download for free or alternatively you can log into your home router and if you're comfortable in doing that and getting the IP address of the Jazz Miner that way, that would be the best. Alternatively, you can download this freeware software called Advanced IP Scanner. It will scan your subnet, your network, and it will show the IP address of the Jazz Miner, okay, specifically. So we're gonna take the IP address 10100.159. For you guys, it could be 192.168.1. something, something, something. So just be mindful of that. Next, we are going going to go to the web browser. You're going to copy that IP address and paste it in the browser and it should come up with a prompt to log in. So the username here is going to be root and I believe the password is also root. Then you're going to click sign in. Okay, now you should be presented with the web GUI of the Jazz Miner. Now we need to set up the miner configuration. So at the top left there should be a settings button. Then you're going to go down to miner and this is where we are going to enter in our pool information and also depending on where you're mining you need the worker name as well okay so we're going to show you guys how to do this so before we do any of this actually we need to determine which mining pool we need and also we need a wallet for either ethereum classic or octospace if you decide to mine these two coins as well as it can dual mine with zilliqa as well, merge mining with Zill. So one of the best ways I like to store my Ethereum Classic or even Octospace is through a cold storage solution called 
Tangem. I have a specific redpanda.tangem.com. This is a cold storage wallet that I'm affiliated with. They got a lot of the top coins like Bitcoin, Caspa, Litecoin, Dogecoin. Of course, they have Ethereum Classic and Octospace as well. Unfortunately, they don't have Zilliqa yet. So you'll have to download a third-party wallet for that. Alternatively though, if you don't want to buy this, you can download the core wallets for Ethereum Classic and Octospace as well. Okay, but anyways, let's now choose the mining pool. Okay, so let's go ahead and try Ethereum Classic uh, mining pools here. There's a lot of them here, but my preferred one is going to be K1 pool as they have a lot of compatibility with a lot of the different miners out there, such as the Jazz Miner. So they have a specific Jazz Miner port okay server port depending where you are china usa or europe and this is where you can copy the pool address for the miner okay so i'm using the jazz miner x16 here we're going to copy this and we're going to go back to the web gui of the jazz miner and this is where we are going to paste that into here okay for pool number one now you can do the backup pools as well. It's recommended to do that. So backup pools will be in the different countries like China or Europe or USA, depending where you are. So I'm gonna copy the China one as well. Paste that in number two and also in Europe as well for number pool number three. This is just to have a backup pool in case any one of these go down. Now you'll need to put in the worker name. Okay, so this is where on K1 pool, okay, you're gonna wanna create an account. Okay, this is gonna be an account based one. Um, you're not putting in your Ethereum Classic or Octospace. It's gonna be the account name. Okay, so I'm just gonna log in here with my Google account and you guys can do the same thing. So here, you go back to dashboard, top left. This is where you're gonna, this is your worker account. Okay, this is, it's designating the Jazz Miner too. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna go back to the web GUI. We're gonna paste that into here. Okay, and then we're gonna do a period and then X16QE. It's just to uh, put any name you want. You don't have to do X16QE, but it's just to designate a worker name to it. But this here is gonna be your account on K1 pool. So you're gonna to wanna to copy this to all three setting pool settings. Password can be anything, one, two, three, or X is the most common. And uh, that's, that's all you need to do. Okay, then we're going to go down here. Since we're mining, Ethereum Classic, um, the pool protocol is gonna be get work, okay? Coin select, so this is where you'll wanna select uh, ETC and Zill, okay? So this is what we're mining for ETC Zill. If you're gonna do Octospace, you'll wanna change this to ETH, okay? Then work mode, uh, there's four different work modes here, but I have mine on Performance Ultra. I wanna get the most hash rate. When you are done, you're gonna hit submit, and it's going to change the information and join the mining pool as you guys can see here, okay? So then that's when you're gonna start earning Octospace or you know Ethereum Classic, whatever you're mining, but you'll wanna make sure when you go to your dashboard at the top right, go to wallets, uh, wallets here, you'll want to enter in your Ethereum Classic uh, address okay your wallet address this is to get paid out so once you're done once it's mining on k1 pool it's gonna pay you out to your ethereum you know uh, zilliqa if you're mining zilliqa or uh, you know octospace as well this is where you can get your address from let's say a tangent wallet but that's how you use k1 pool here along with your jazz miner x16 qe okay so that's it it's gonna start mining away you don't have to do anything else it is gonna take a good 13 to 20 minutes for it to build the dag okay you see the dag loading process here once that is done it's going to uh, start mining away it's gonna show mega hash here and it's gonna connect to the mining pool now there's one thing i wanted to show here is that you should join it to the wi-fi if you wish okay the wi-fi this is where you're going to be able to you know connect to the wireless around in your house okay so simply because that you can put this miner anywhere you can join your ssid okay very easy you have to select your ssid put in the password and then hit connect okay mine's connected already um, and then that's it and then you can take out the network cable and now you'll be able to 
wirelessly mine with the Jazz Miner X16QE. Okay, so thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for letting us showcase this to you guys. I hope that how-to video was nice and easy to use. If you guys are interested in one of these, go check out CryptoMinerBros.com. Use code REDPANDA for $50 off. If you are interested in one of these, links down below. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.